Modular Mix Leads with uh, Dan from DPW Design. Um, amazing wave folder. Um, sounded absolutely stunning yesterday. Um, we've got a no scope, uh, Mordax Data as well. We can see the waves dancing around. Uh, do you want to introduce the module to start with? Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a wave folder with some, uh, some extra features. So it's, uh, it's folding and it's, uh, it's also producing uh, square waves that you can root out in stereo. That is what you're hearing right, right now. So we can see waveforms dancing around. What's going in in the patch? John, introduce the module, take us through it. Yeah, what's going in is uh, it's just, just a sine wave being fed from the Turing machine. That is a green wave that you can see on the scope. And uh, if I take away all the other stuff that's happening here, the yellow line is what comes out. And uh, I can fold this wave and I got some modulation going on here. And I can fold it from both from the top and from, from uh, the bottom, or positive and negative. And that can be um, uh, modulated, both of them, of course, what you just saw. And when the wave folder is active, when the positive wave folder is active, you also can add uh, or, or subtract a square wave from the output going signal. I have rooted them out now, but I'll, if I take them away, so you see just the outgoing shape. Uh, so it starts to interfere with the phase of itself, with the square and the wave folding yeah, side. Yeah, you just add them together. And if you take away the folding and take away the incoming signal, then you just have square waves that you can build and uh, mangle around if you want to. And on top of this, you also have uh, distortion, two types of distortion. A mild... Um, like a soft clipping? Yeah, yeah, like, like a non-transparent soft clipping, very yeah. non-transparent. Or a slightly filtered uh, fuss. So this is more uh, harder. And uh, those can be externally modulated up to high audio rate. Take away. So it's almost a ring mod, uh, AM, FM kind of overtone. Yeah, may, may, more like an AM overtone. Yeah. And what's so, nice is we've got these square edges, but we've also got the, the rounded top and the bottom being independent as well. Yeah. Uh, and of course, you, you can also do this modulation in audio rate. And if you like this, and you, thought, uh, you could also do it uh, symmetrically. So if you switch, flick this switch, everything is controlled with this one. And the two modulation sources that comes in on um, the CV inputs are, are being um, added together. Wow, so lots of ways of making complex folded pulse width generated, modulated, subtracted. <laughs> uh, a lot of tone from a sine wave. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, the, 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 the nice big trick, I guess, is, is this. When, when, uh, when you patch out the square waves out in, uh, in stereo and uh, turn them so you have big, big uh, pulse width modulation in stereo, uh, that is uh, the two, the left and right in this case, is totally independent of each other. So what I, I so sometimes do is that I, I do the, uh, the folded part that is in the middle of the mix, and I put that with a like, like a short plucky sound. So like, like this. And then I have the pulse with uh, in in the, on the side like almost like a so it creates a big 3d space yeah it, it's almost like a reverb but uh, you have full control of it and then you mix them yeah it's a big wide stereo yeah. sound so are these available now what's the price yeah they're, they're shipping now uh, since it's beginning of summer and uh, the bundle including the uh, breakout extra thing is uh, 190 pounds Wow, cheap for that amount of sonic manipulation. Great.
So thank you very much. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be expensive, it should be available to... Yeah, that's a great philosophy. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.